He was one of the key faces behind the Brexit campaign. And now Nigel Farage is hailing 2016 as a year of political revolution, which has shaken the old establishment to its core. He was speaking at a celebration in London, honouring his role in the referendum. 2016, when people look back in 100 years, 200 years, 2016 will stand out as one of those great historic years. It's the year of the big political revolution. And Brexit was the first brick knocked out of the establishment wall. And then what we got on November the 8th <laughs> with the election of the Donald was something of a completely different order. Um, for those that are here that um, aren't particularly happy with what's happened in 2016, I've got some really bad news for you. <laughs> It's going to get a bloody sight worse next year. Now, the rise of anti-establishment sentiment, the anti-NATO movement and opposition to international trade deals, these are just some of the trends that could signal a new reality for many Western countries. The great war that UKIP was set up to fight has now been won. On the 23rd of June of this year, the country voted to leave the European Union. I expect UKIP to go forward with its, um, what could I say, insurgent dissident policies to free up this country and free up uh, the world, ideally, from the political elite. Establishment is always the last to understand uh, the rioting of the people, but believe me, People now are fed up with this system and will take the power back. NATO has no reason to exist anymore because there is no strength to Europe. And this is a danger for NATO and for people behind NATO. And so they have to create new enemies. And the best and easiest enemy to create was Putin and Russia. NATO is a product of the Cold War. NATO philosophy is not, uh, actually is not fitting in time right now. We have other threats. I, for example, um, Islamist terrorists. The European Parliament, it continues its uh, anti-Russian uh, policies uh, and this is something that uh, does not uh, help uh, the uh, international peace and security. So many political dissidents like myself who are basically uh, locked out of our corporate media coverage, you know, we look to RT. Uh, for, you know, for access to the American public. So charging uh, Russian TV with being a really dangerous uh, ISIS type, um, you know, threat, um, I don't get that. I think the big multilateral agreements are now, as you say, dead in the water. And the death of the big multilateral agreements opens up scope for smaller bilateral agreements, e.g. a US-UK uh, free trade agreement, which Boris Johnson has talked about. And I think we should be actively pursuing that. Citizens are not consulted. Uh, once again, it's not democracy, but why aren't they consulted? Because it's only a business matter, business and money before everything else. And I hope that we will uh, uh, put this treaty into the basket and forget it forever in order to protect our emplo uh, employees. I am going to issue a notification of intent to withdraw from the Trans-Pacific Partnership, a potential disaster for our country. <laughs> 